Hey guys, what is up? I'm LegitGaming24 and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 6.1.6. .6. This isn't a tethered jailbreak, that means that it's going to be untethered and you won't have to boot tether every time that it resprings. So let's get started. Today we're going to be using these two programs, Red Snow, and this isn't really a program, but this is the IPSW that we're going to be using. It's a iOS 6.0 restore. So what that is is basically like when you update your iPod, that's an IPSW. That's what this is basically, and it's just going to be a reference for Red Snow to use. It doesn't matter what iOS you're on, but this is the one that you're going to be using. And you don't have to worry about trying to find this on Google or anything. I'm going to have the link for the downloads in the description, so go ahead and check that out, and that's where you can go ahead and find them. So to start off, let's go ahead and open Red Snow. If it asks you if you want to run it, go ahead and hit yes. Go to extras, select IPSW, and then look for wherever you have your save to. I would recommend putting it on your desktop just so it's easier to find when you're looking for it, but you don't have to. Hit OK, then back, and then jailbreak. Now just wait for it to finish downloading, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up to not waste time. Now go ahead and hit next. And make sure that your iPod is turned off and plugged in already. That way you can go ahead and continue and once you've gone ahead and done that, go ahead and hit next again. Go ahead and follow the steps to be able to enter DFU mode. Now from here on, most of the process is going to be on your iPod. Don't go ahead and turn off your computer just yet because it does need to stay on until it does stay done. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what my iPod looks like. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I'll come back when it's done. Once it's gone ahead and finished, it's going to go ahead and reboot, and if you notice, it doesn't have Cydia, but that's because you're not done yet. You're going to have to go back to Red Snow and do it all over again. So click on Extra, select IPSW, click on your firmware, and then go ahead and click Just Boot. If you know how to enter DFU mode by now, just go ahead and do that now, or go ahead and hit Next and follow the steps, and you'll be able to do that. And once it's gone ahead and done that, I'll go ahead and start again. This time, once it's gone ahead and finished jailbreaking, I'll go ahead and reboot. I'll show pineapple on the screen, then I'll go to the lock screen, and once you've gone ahead and gotten that far, you slide to unlock, and then you'll find City on your screen. So go ahead and launch, and now that you have it on your screen, choose the type of user you are. Now go to changes and then refresh. Once it's done, go ahead and hit ignore because if you hit upgrade to central or upgrade, it's not going to work and it's going to mess up the process. Now go to search and type in P0. Once it's done, you're going to go ahead and tap on the first one. It's going to read P0SIXSPWN. Then hit install. It's going to go ahead and install what's in center, you're going to be good to go, and this is going to be an untethered jailbreak, so I'm going to go ahead and prove that to you by turning my iPod off and then turning it on again, and it'll still have City and it'll still be working. Now once you go ahead and check, City should still be there, it should say that it has some updates, you can go ahead and update that now, or you can update that later, it doesn't really affect it, but go ahead and do that as soon as possible. So this is how you jailbreak. By now your iPod or iPhone should be working perfectly. If you have any problems, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you. The links will be in the description like I said. If you want to go ahead and leave a comment, go ahead and like the video if you liked it and go ahead and subscribe if you want to watch more. Like always, thanks for watching and happy jailbreaking. Also, if you guys would be interested in watching the top 10 favorite tweaks that are the most useful and they're free, go ahead and let me know about that too and I'll go ahead and make it possible if you guys want to watch that.